Hey everybody, this is Steve, and we all make mistakes. When we do, our first instinct is usually to cover it up, to hide it, so no one else ever finds out about it. That's what Adam and Eve tried to do when they sinned. They tried to hide, so God wouldn't find them. Bottling up our sin may be our first instinct, but it never actually helps. We do it to avoid punishment and blame, but all it does is make us feel more stressed and guilt. It's silly to keep something bad bottled up inside. After all, when a room smells funny, we open the window and let fresh air in. The church gives us the opportunity to do that in the sacrament of confession. Some people don't like confession because they don't like sharing their sins with the priest. But like we've already said, it doesn't help to keep our sins bottled up inside. It helps a lot to say them out loud. And remember, we don't confess to the priest since he's not the one who forgives us. We confess to God with a priest by our side to support us. And when we're done, he prays for our forgiveness. Confession is part of a larger process, part of our ongoing struggle to achieve repentance. It's a chance to get to know a priest and to allow him to get to know us. It's a chance to have a spiritual advisor, someone who can give us the advice that we need to draw closer to God. It's about finding a spiritual father, someone who will love and care for us and help raise us up into the person God made us to be. Confession isn't about God's judgment. It's about his mercy and his love. It's about the safety and the healing that he offers us all. There's no shame in going to a doctor when we're sick, and we can't get better if we don't say what's wrong. Priests are just a different kind of doctor, and the church is a different kind of hospital. Priests give us the spiritual prescriptions we need to get better. The better a confessor gets to know us, the better he can guide us. These are all practical reasons. Confession is just really helpful in our spiritual lives. There's also a theological reason, something that reflects on what the church is. Confession is a kind of offering. In the Divine Liturgy, we offer God bread and wine. In return, He gives us His body and blood. In confession, we offer our sins and brokenness to God. He accepts it and doesn't judge us for it. Instead, He gives us healing and wholeness in return. The truth is we're not strong enough to bear our own sins, and we're not strong enough to heal our own brokenness. Alone, we're imperfect and weak. That's why we need to turn to God, who's always waiting to lift us up when we fall. God takes weakness and turns it into strength. He takes death and turns it into life. He takes us when we're broken and miserable and beaten down, and he lifts us up. He turns us into saints. When we go to a priest to confess our sins, we're saying something very important. We're saying that we have faith in God, that God can take on any sin, that there's nothing too big or too terrible for God to save us from. We're saying that we have faith in the church, the body of Christ, that the church is our salvation, that that's the place where we find true healing and our true selves. And we're saying that we have faith in ourselves, that we can forgive ourselves for whatever we might have done and move beyond it into a life of repentance and renewal in Christ. No matter how far we fall, no matter how badly we may hurt, no matter how alone and desperate we may feel, God never abandons us. He's always there, waiting to lift us up again. And confession is one of the most powerful tools he offers us on our road to repentance. So let's be the bee and offer everything, even our mistakes, to God. Be the bee and live orthodoxy. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.